it's my hope that what we're doing will change the scope and the approach and how anger and aggression are treated after brain injury. I think many of our clinicians, they get a patient who comes to them presenting with problems with anger and aggression and, you know, kind of struggling and pulling at straws about how to go about doing this. I think one of the things that I'm really trying to get out there right now the stuff that I can promote from the negative attributions research that I'm doing, I would ask that clinicians working with people with brain injury, if somebody comes into their office with anger and aggression, that you think about whether or not this has anything to do with the way that they are interpreting other people's behaviors. And there are measures, there are instruments that can be used that are available to evaluate negative attribution thought style. Because if you can figure that out early on, then you can focus your treatment so that you are teaching them how to change the way they interpret other people's behaviors earlier on and get to the target of the problem, if that is the problem.